today? Uh, well, first of all, this is day one at uh, in Durango. Well, day one was yesterday. The drive. And we got here <laughs> at what, at 3.30? Yep. And uh, we're at the Blue Lake Ranch Bed and Breakfast. In Hesperus, so not in directly in Durango. Right, we're about, what, 15 miles west? West of, of Durango. Durango. So, nice little place. Yep. It, uh, it's very, very quiet. Eerily quiet sometimes. Minus the wind. Yes. <laughs> it's been very windy here the last two days. A lot of wind. Very windy. And uh, we had our first breakfast this morning with a nice little lady. I, don't, I never even got her name. I don't know her name either. Um, but uh, she home cooks the uh, meals every morning, so that was very good. And then uh, we made the drive to downtown Durango to the train station for the, it was a Denver Rio Railroad? Rio Denver Railroad? Denver Rio Grande Railroad was what it was originally called, but now it's the Durango Silverton train. Yes. yes, which was awesome. So if you're thinking about going to Durango and want something to do, that's something you should definitely do. During the winter time, we only did the Cascade Canyon train ride, which was about three and a half hours round trip. Um, they don't take you all the way up to Silverton in the winter. Um, too cold and too much snow. Minus this year, there wasn't hardly any snow, so they probably could have done it. Um, but they take you up the canyon, some really great views. We sat in the narration car. Completely by mistake. Um, and we got a lot of history. So if you're into history, um, and would like a lot of facts about Durango and the, and the, um, train line and um, kind of how they they built the train and things like that um, if you book this train ride make sure that you do the narration car um, and you can also get lunch we got some really delicious um, catered turkey sandwiches from a place I believe was called the yellow carrot um, and that is in Durango um, and it was like a little box lunch that came with a cookie um, and some sweet potato chips and an apple so um, it was a lot of fun. We enjoyed it. Yeah. And then they give you two. And was that, did you sign up for that or was that just for everybody? Was it just for the narration card of the cup? The lunch? No, the cup. The cup? No, I, that was part of it, I guess. I don't know. Oh. Not yeah. everybody got it, though. Because not everybody in our car had one, did they? I think so. Oh, okay. Well, I don't know. Yeah, we got there like right on time, which is weird for this one because she usually wants to be early. But as we strolled in, they were already given the presentation, so we didn't even know until probably an hour into the ride about the. They give you these mugs, and I just thought they threw in a souvenir mug uh, for you to take home. But you could take that mug to the uh, concessions cart, and you could get unlimited uh, water, soda, hot chocolate. Any beverage that was not alcoholic yeah. was unlimited um, while you were on the train. So, um, and then you stop in Cascade Canyon for about 45 minutes, walk around, take in the sights. Um, if you're a photographer, um, there are a lot of places for photo opportunities. Um, really great river that runs through there. Or if you just want to have a lunch or a snack, something like that, they have a concessions cart where you can buy sandwiches um, and things like that. So the views were great. We, were, we really enjoyed it. Um, the history really was, I think, kind of the topper of the whole thing. We learned a lot, a lot of things we did not know, things that we wouldn't even begin to imagine to know. So um, our narration lady that we had was very thorough. She was um, very well educated. So um, definitely recommend the Durango Silverton train ride um, if you come to Durango. And they do lots of fun rides uh, throughout the year too. They're telling us they do a Christmas tree ride which starts uh, in November 
And uh, you take the train up, and then uh, the train stops, and you get out, and you go cut down a Christmas tree, and they have a big flatbed uh, rail car that you throw all the trees on, and then the train takes you back down, and they do a Polar Express ride. A Halloween uh, ride. Yeah. For the kids, those are shorter rides. Our ride was pretty long. About three and a half hours. And, uh, and, and I was, at the end, I was ready to get off the train. That's a long time to be on that. Yeah, it's train. a lot of train ride. It's a restored and maintained uh, train, but it's you know it's from the the eighteen hundreds. What did you say? Eighteen eighteen eighty something, eighteen eighty eight, eighteen eighty six, something like that. So, um, it is very old, um, but uh, they've taken great care of it. Um, and again, that's just another little piece of of history. Um, you know, that's that's part of the uh, part of the ride. So. Um, they seem to do a lot of neat things throughout the year. Um, sounds like they do some fundraisers, um, excuse me, fundraisers, um, and things like that as well. So, um, pretty neat company and, um, definitely would put this on your to-do list if you visit Durango. For sure. It was a lot of fun. We're going to do it again because there's a lot of other cool train rides. Yep. We have a photography ride that, uh, we think would be fun where the train, uh, Takes a totally different, well, not a different route. It's a track, right? <laughs> you only got one. Yeah, it's the same route. <laughs> there's only one uh, trail to go. But there's more stops to the photography. Yeah, they, they stop. Train ride. Uh, they stop a lot and they stop often. And uh, she said it costs. Uh, she didn't say what it costs. She said it costs more than the normal rides. Yes. And they do that in the fall. She, like Third the, week in September is what she said. Yeah, so we're. Uh, that's going to be added to our bucket list. We'll have to do that one day. Yeah, that's definitely on the list. For sure. So. So. Yep. That is it so far. And yeah. tomorrow is Mesa Verde, so um, we'll make another video. Well, I don't know. Do you want to talk about dinner? No, I don't have anything from dinner. There's nothing to show. There's no photos, no. So we had dinner um, <laughs> at a place called Firehouse Pizza? I don't know. Fire okay. Pizza. Fired Up Pizza? Okay, I guess we're not talking about dinner. So that was it for today. <laughs> Bye. Bye.